What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I want to show you guys the lazy script. Now, as I stated in previous videos, I wanted to cover some more cybersecurity tools on my channel. And this tool is right up the alley for people that are trying to learn pen testing as well as ethical hacking. Now, I don't recommend this tool for people that are absolutely beginners because it requires you to fully understand the tools that are used within this script. The idea behind the development of this script is really to save time for people that already have the knowledge in ethical hacking and pen testing. And this script is called the lazy script and you can find it right on GitHub and I'll make sure I drop the link in the description of the video. But before I go to the link, I want to give a special shout out to all my Patreons because without you, I couldn't do this show and keep things running on the channel. And also shout out to all the new subscribers on my channel. But I do notice within my analytics that a lot of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So please subscribe so you don't miss out on any future video releases. Now let's check out the lazy script. Now I'm at the website for the lazy script. It's on GitHub, like I stated. Uh, like, like I said, I'll put this link in the description of the video. But this is the actual tool. As you can see, it was created by a guy named Aris, I believe. And it's uh, L script, that's what they call it. But it says the lazy script will make your life easier and, of course, faster. Now, uh, we can scroll down to the readme.md, but it says the lazy script has not been updated for a while, which is true. It's on version 2.1.4. That's the version that they are right now, that they have right now. But here are a couple of screenshots and then you can go down. They have the installation instructions down here. So I'll walk through and show you guys how to actually install it on Kali Linux. I'll walk through the full process and then we can get things going and I can show you a few examples. So let's get started. Now I'm on my Kali box. Now let's go through the install and I, I went out and pulled up the GitHub over here as well because we're going to need that link in order to actually install it. So I'll minimize that for right now, but we'll grab the link for what we need. When you want to install the lazy script, you want to make sure you're under your root account. So as you can see right now, we are under my user account on Kali. You want to have root permissions because the script actually creates directories and changes permissions within that directory and it just overall works better if you run it from your root account so let's go on and uh switch to that account right fast so we could type sudo su and that will take us over to our root account you know it'll access our sudo password type that in bam we're good to go so i'm pressing enter or clear actually and bring it up to the top and then also we want to make sure we're in the root directory right now it's under home josh so you want to make sure you're in the root directory uh which is shown by the tilde so let's ls this directory right fast uh just to kind of show you what's in there there's a handshakes folder and a word list folder and this comes standard with cali once you install it you'll see those folders as well on your system now let's go down and clear again and go ahead on and download the actual GitHub. So uh, what we need to use is git clone. And then all we have to do is uh, go find the script. And actually I have the link there, but I just want to show you guys, you just hit the, uh, the little down arrow here and then just copy the link and then go over to your terminal and download the link or put the link there and press enter. And that'll clone down this directory. Now, I've used this script a number of years ago when I was trying to get into cybersecurity or I was thinking about trying to get into the cybersecurity field. Uh, I was just learning a few things or just researching just to see how some of this stuff actually works. And I remember installing this script back then. And it's pretty cool. It, it has a lot more updates, but let's get to the install. I'm sorry, I'll start rambling, but let's get to the install. And let's ls this directory that we're in right now just to show you that it did download that directory so l script and that's where we want to go so let's type cd and then l script 
and press enter and that will take us to that directory now let's ls this directory so we can see what's in it and what we're looking for is the install.sh uh, that's how you actually install the script now in order to run that script we have to make it executable and it's a simple way to do that we just basically type chmod and then the plus button and then x and then install.sh and press enter and if we ls this directory again we'll see it turned green and that lets you know that it's executable uh that's just one of the color features within the terminal that'll show you things that are executable which is you know kind of designated by that green so if you've been using linux for a minute you you understand how that works now once you have it executable we can go ahead on and install the script so all we have to do is type uh, the period and then the forward slash and then install and I misspelled it but install.sh and press enter and then this will go through the install process now don't be alarmed this thing will actually pop up a couple of terminals uh, during the install but it's very simple to install so let's press uh, the space bar and it'll go through and install the lazy script and it's gonna, like I said, it's gonna change permissions. It's gonna create directories and all that stuff. Uh, so right here it says, are you updating or installing the script? Since this is our first time installing it, uh, I'm gonna type I and press enter. And that'll go through and finish the install. It'll install any dependencies that you need as well as make some changes to your terminal so you can actually run the script and as you can see it opened up a new terminal right now it closed that out but it opened up a new terminal right now it basically opened up the script again uh, but this will allow you to agree to the terms of service and what you have to do is type uh, yes in all caps uh, you have to write it specifically how they have it uh, in order to agree to those terms. So let's press enter and basically let me let me actually read this right fast So you guys can see it says this tool is only for educational purposes only Use this tool only on your own network and never without permission. I am NOT responsible for anything you do with this tool Will you use this tool only on your own network and only with your own responsibility? And it says, so that's what you're basically agreeing to, that you won't use this for any malicious purposes, which I don't plan on and I hope you don't plan on, but just to make sure they have you agree to these terms of service. So let's press enter now and it will finish the install. There is a few prompts. Now, this is where you have to kind of know what you're doing. So what it's looking for is your wireless interface face names. Now, this is the managed interface, which is your typical wireless interface. So wireless LAN zero, that's the actual format that is typically in and just show you guys right fast. If we type IF config and you won't see it on my system because I don't have a Wi-Fi cord installed on this system. All I have is ethernet, which is represented by E ETHO zero. Well, a lot of times on most laptops, you'll have WLAN zero, and that's the managed interface, the wireless managed interface. This is what you use to connect to the internet. Now, when you get into Wi-Fi hacking, you'll understand or you start hearing about monitor mode. So it's a way to create another almost virtual interface that allows you to monitor Wi-Fi connections. And this is what people use to actually pull the handshakes and all that stuff when they're trying to hack Wi-Fi and it'll be represented under here as well as a separate interface they'll have wireless LAN zero and then a lot of times most people name it wireless LAN zero mine so M-O-N for monitor mode so I can't show you the wire wireless tools because I don't have any wireless interfaces connected to the system but I can show you the script so I'm gonna just go on and press enter because it'll go through and recognize those names even if you don't have an interface the only way it won't work is when it tries to access those interfaces and make changes to those interfaces like changing the MAC address or starting up one of those Wi-Fi tools that monitor Wi-Fi wi connections so let's press enter I'm gonna just go through the defaults you can change this up if you want to uh, and I'll show you how to do that if you make a mistake uh, 
it allows you to actually correct that mistakes uh, and this tells you right here it says if you want to check cha make changes uh, type interface at any time so while you in the script all you have to do is type interface and mm -hmm. it will you know take you to the interfaces and you can go through that little prompt again and make those changes if you need to now this is the last step right here it basically goes through and gathers all this information as well as install dependencies during this step as well which i already had those dependencies met that's why i kind of skipped that but you'll see dependencies being installed during this step i just wanted to kind of show it to you at least so you can see what it actually will do so let's press any key to continue and now we are in the skip script and it says the lazy script version 2.1.5 it's by Aris. And I made a mistake earlier. I said 2.1.4 is actually version 2.1.5. So that's what version the script is actually in. And as you can see, it has a whole bunch of tools and utilities you can use to help you with penetration testing and all that stuff. And I'll kind of go through a few of them, but you know, I have config. You can run that, you know, on your own. The benefit of having this is you can run all this stuff from one script versus having up, you know, 20 terminals where you're doing different things like monitoring in one, you know, and you got other terminals that are doing different things. Uh, you can run everything from this script, which is super cool and super dope. And let's just run the IF right fast, just see. Uh, but basically, everything right here is how you actually run it so it tells you it gives you an explanation but this is what you actually the keys you type in to actually run whatever you're trying to run so if config you just write if lowercase press enter you know it'll run through that and give you that information i, I accidentally pressed the key after that that's why i went away but as you can see it's the exact same thing as running if config over here so um, you press spacebar and it'll take you right back to the script to the beginning of the script and then as you can see you know you can enable wireless LAN zero you can enable wireless zero mine so that's how you you typically have to go in and enable or turn on monitor mode by opening up another terminal you know to actually put your device in monitor mode and then run whatever tool you're trying to run well you could do it all here and i won't run that on here because it'll fail for me because it's going to say it doesn't see a wireless interface on this system but you do have the option to you know change mac address uh enable a nine eight uh enable a nine surf and actually i need to do a video on a nine surf just showing you guys how to actually use that as well i know that kind of ties to the old proxy chain over tour video that i recently did but this is another tool that's super cool for you guys to actually check out but a non-surf status so you can check the status there which we don't have any of that installed on this system right now i don't think this package is even on here right now or it may be i'm not sure i'm not sure if it's included with this version of kali linux but if it is you know it may work but then you can view your public IP address, you can view your MAC addresses, you know, and then this is one of the coolest ports right here. All the different tools you can access from here. And a lot of these tools are tools that a lot of people get from GitHub to add to their system that can improve their pen testing. Uh, that is pretty much GitHub tools that are not included in Kali Linux that a lot of people like and are very popular that help people in the pen testing area or cybersecurity area. You can get them from here. And let me go down and open it up so you guys can see. But uh, we could just type nine, that'll take us there. But as you can see, I just kind of wanted to show you the different areas. It has Wi Fi tools, remote access, information gathering, uh, website tools, or website tools other install reinstall a tool info and then go back and what i'm gonna do is go back i'm not gonna show you all those tools go through it all uh let me go back to the front page i may go to it a few in a few minutes hold on but i just wanted to kind of show you you know handshake uh find wps pin so it has an automatic script in there to find a wps pin for wi-fi routers uh web menu so that takes you through how to hack web which a lot of people don't use web anymore it's kind of irrelevant uh, most people use WPA2 with very strong passwords but there are some Wi-Fi networks out there that are still using web you know what I'm saying but 
uh it's really kind of irrelevant at this point in my opinion uh but uh metasploit which was super cool to see local ips and gateway you can get that information restore original mac address so if you change your mac address you can restore it back to your original uh and this is basically turning off the anon surf and restarting the anon surf but they also have features in here to spoof email uh in growth port photo forwarding uh x high high do y tool so that's super cool that that's there that you know will help you with using a lot of these different tools you know by giving you explanations on how to actually use it uh auto exploit exploit browser geo lo locate an ip that's super cool that it's right there uh you can just run it there from this script you know brute force login sql map automated you know and then they also have some networking tools that i thought was super cool you know arp scan network this is how you start monitor mode stop monitor mode check for updates fix some errors uh keyboard shortcuts buy me a coffee and then go to the settings menu and that's super cool he threw that into the script so if you want to support this guy because he put a lot of work into the script to make it very easy for people uh you can buy him a coffee you know what i'm saying that's super cool uh and then right here the last one is show bandwidth so super cool that all this stuff is in one location now let me go back into that tools menu right fast i just want to go through and, and show you what you can do you can go through and actually install out of all the options that are here i don't know if you guys have ever heard of angry ip scanner but i've i've played around with it in the past uh ghost fisher uh net discover uh web exploit fr framework router exploit social fish which i've heard before i've never used it but I, i've heard of social fish uh but let's go back i just wanted to kind of show you you know some of the stuff uh remote access so if we go in there uh you can see one of the ones i typically know is beef so that's installed uh auto exploits i've heard of that uh drop it framework create an advanced stealthy dropper but it's super cool it has all the information on basically what these tools are used for now let's go back again i just want to see what else is in here information gathering that's a good area that a lot of people try to look at so sniper automate automated pen testing recon scanner you know recon dog uh red hawk i've heard of red hawk uh i played around with it in the past uh knock mail verify if an email exists so that's super cool that that's there as well uh let's go back but they do have website tools let's go up in there right fast and then it'll be the last one i actually look at but sql map which is you know cool uh no sql map uh striker so i've i've checked that out before just playing around with it uh data exploit instagram pie now that's cool brute force instagram without password limiting so that's super cool that that script is there or that tool is there and a lot of like i said a lot of these tools are found on github they're just not added into the main repository of kali linux you know kali linux has a lot of great tools in it but most people that are in this field like to find different tools that are out there that handle certain tasks very quickly for you or you can modify those utilities to run a certain way you can find open source tools that were created to help you go after a specific target depending on the scenario now let's press zero zero and press enter and it'll take us back to the beginning but pretty much that's the lazy script i just wanted to show you guys how to actually install it and get it up and running on your system and you can start playing around with it and hopefully hopefully it can help you with your cybersecurity career so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions leave comments down in the comment boxes below i'm, I'm always happy to answer questions but i hope you guys have a good day and keep it techy